Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 24th of January 2024. The Bible reading today is James chapter 1 verses 18 to 20. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we may be a kind of first fruits of all he created. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Today's article, titled Quick to Listen, was written by Katara Patton. I felt my heart rate increase as I opened my mouth to refute the charges a dear friend was levelling against me. What I had posted online had nothing to do with her, as she implied. But before I replied, I whispered a prayer. I then calmed down and heard what she was saying and the hurt behind her words. It was clear that this went deeper than the surface. My friend was hurting and my need to defend myself dissolved as I chose to help her address her pain. During this conversation, I learned what James meant in today's scripture when he urged us to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Listening can help us hear what may be behind the words and to avoid anger that does not produce the righteousness that God desires. It allows us to hear the heart of the speaker. I think. Stopping and praying helped me greatly with my friend. I became much more sensitive to her words rather than my own feelings of offence. Perhaps if I hadn't stopped to pray, I would have fired back my thoughts and shared how offended I was. And while I haven't always got the instruction James outlines right, that day I think I did. Stopping to whisper a prayer before allowing anger and defence to take a hold of me was the key to listening quickly and speaking slowly. I pray that God will give me the wisdom to do this more often. Let's pray. Gracious God, please remind me to be quick to listen and slow to become offended. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Angela and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.